what up what up what up this quill and black and i want to be talking to you guys about a lot of trading things that that people encounter along this journey right here a lot of people is under the like bad impression of what they see on facebook instagram um building a hundred dollars to ten thousand dollars and ten thousand dollars to a million dollars and so on and so on and so on mind you all that is possible it's definitely possible but in reality like the level of risk that you're taking upon your account it makes no sense you're gonna more than likely blow that account and then start over and over and over and then get depressed and probably quit you know what i'm saying like who wants to go through that hassle right there all right so i'm going to be talking about a few things along with risk management trading false hopes investing in in knowledge and every journey is different all right so first thing risk management so big risk small reward a lot of people is is fascinated by people on, on Instagram and Facebook and overall social media that is doing huge lot sizes but fail to realize a lot of those times those people they have big ass fucking losses you know what I'm saying and like a lot of times they're scalping also so it's not as if they're catching a lot of pips they're not really catching pips they're catching just small moves which is not really trading in my opinion because if you're trading you're catching an actual move you're catching you know 20 30 pips 100 pips that kind of stuff you're actually catching the market for for what it's worth you know what i'm saying like you're, you're catching an overall move some people and everything they just catch small moves and you get into, into, into like a real bad habit of not wanting to analyze as much you get real lazy on the charts because you're only catching like like five pips or ten pips you know it's a bad habit to pick up if you want to actually become a full-time trader okay because a lot of people now like they want to be a full-time trader but they don't even have like what it takes to be become that full-time trader as far as the emotion wise as far as the um longevity knowledge wise learn how to pretty much scalp swing trade intraday trade all that shit is pretty much vital to pretty much a person that actually that's actually trying to become a, a, a full-time trader okay and those people and everything that are so fascinated with those big lot sizes, you don't know their financial situation. You know what I'm saying? So if you actually are so fascinated by that, okay, so how are your finances? You know what I'm saying? Like your finances are probably a lot different from their finances. That's why they're taking that kind of risk on, on their accounts with high lot sizes, which means that if you're doing a high lot size, for, for people that don't know, high lot sizes times a certain amount of points inside a market equals a bigger profit, period. That's what it's that's what it comes down to but overall it, it's also a higher level of, of risk as well um a lot of people want to do high losses like 100 lots and 50 lots and everything but they don't have they have big lot dreams but they don't have big lot emotions you know what i'm saying like, like people those same people that you see um is making like let's say 20k on like a 10 lot and 20k on like a 100 lot and so on and so on okay but just how that went positive that could also go negative and a lot of people is not willing to actually make that kind of money go negative. You know what I'm saying? So don't think just because a person's doing a high lot size is that they're better than someone else. They're just taking a lot more fucking risk, but more than likely, they're not going to stay inside that order long enough because they're probably scalping, okay? And a lot of people is like always so fascinated by how another person trade. Mind you, everybody trades differently, but at the same time, like you never know what's going to work for you, okay? Everybody sees the market different. You know, it's all about perspective. Everybody... Um, perspective inside the market is very very different everybody learning curve is a lot different okay somebody might have a better mental stability than you you know what I'm saying so like you got to take all that in consideration at the same time um think long term you know like think think fucking long term like as far as don't rush the high lot sizes don't rush it the money will come eventually but at the same time like I think gaining the knowledge is is the is the hardest part and gaining the consistency is should be the goal for you because once you're consistent enough you know the money will actually flow in and then after a while like once you actually are consistent enough your balance grows and after that you go up your lot size but if you're just rushing the process as just wanting to up your lot size you're gonna blow your account and then you're gonna want to give up you know what I'm saying and those people and everything that are like that they blow like one account they're they're not fucking meant to be traders you know what I'm saying like I, I have people in, in my inbox all the time like oh my god I fucking hate this I, I regret trading this and that this and that get a fucking job then you know what I'm saying like trading is not for most people like a lot of people don't have what it takes a lot of people don't have that mental stability that is needed to actually trade long term okay so at the same time like just because you see a lot of people and everything starting to trade now don't think it's for you you know what I'm saying like 
you could figure it out first, like dabble in it, see what it's about. But at the same time, I like, don't think that just because you, you, your friend is good at trading, that means that you're gonna be good at trading also. You know, that's not that's not what it's about. It's trading is very, very different for every single person. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing this for, well, I've been trading overall for six years. I've been trading Forex going on four years. Okay, and that's like literally studying every single fucking day. I'm involved inside of markets every single fucking day, charting every single fucking day to a certain extent and then getting better and better and better at my craft every day. A lot of people aren't doing that. A lot of people aren't studying back to back consistently like how I was um, or am actually because I have, I just bought actually three new notebooks that I'm gonna be filling up within these next like a couple weeks or a couple months. You know what I'm saying? So like if, if you're not even doing that, then you're not gonna be a, a good ass fucking trader, honestly. All right, so overall, this is a fucking journey. It's not, it's, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. So keep that in mind, all right? Um, trading false hopes, rich overnight. Everybody wants to get rich overnight. That would be great, but at the same time, like this, this trading shit is not a fucking game. You could blow your account back to back. You could blow your whole account in minutes. I, I've, I've seen people blow 10K in a couple of days, 10K in a couple hours, 5K in minutes. And that's because they're on an impression that, that if they put in this amount of money, it could be like, like, like to this amount in this amount of time. You know what I'm saying? Like once they actually get that trading bug, they want to get a, a compound, a compound calculator. Then after that, their compound calculator says that they will be at like around $25 billion in no time. Shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like don't fall for the fucking hype. Don't fall for the hype. It's a fucking journey. Keep that in mind. Just worry about gaining the, the knowledge to actually be able to act, apply it to the market to make profit and then gain the consistency from there. Um, a lot of people, it's under the impression that people don't, don't lose. People lose inside a market, you know what I'm saying? Like, it happens, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? Like, the best traders and everything still lose, and those, those, those same traders that are losing are actually getting a lot better than, than people that's actually seeing straight wins. Because if you're getting straight wins, like, you're not really seeing like, like what, you, what you're doing wrong at the same time, because more than likely, you, you, you could just be on like a little, on lucky streak right now like a little spree you know what I'm saying like you, you, you think that you're like invincible on the charts but overall like once you actually get that big loss then you actually are gonna get torn down to fucking shreds because you, you felt invincible like the market was fucking all yours and you you conquered the market you found that holy grail but in reality you, you didn't you know what I'm saying you just never caught that that um that streak yet or that learning curve bump yet you know what I'm saying so don't ever think that you're invincible inside a market. The market itself is is changing consistently every single fucking minute. So don't think that you're in, in control of the market, okay? Not all trades work out, especially when not taking risk management in consideration, which means that even even a bad, like a trade gone, gone wrong, as far as even a loss can still be a good trade. You know what I'm saying? Like as long as you're sticking to your plan that should be your your biggest thing in your trading style. Like if you're actually just changing changing your style like back to back, back to back and not going with your trading style, then that's when you're fucking up. But if you're sticking to your trading style and then consistently trying and trying and trying and trying and trying, if the market gives you a setup, you're taking it every single time based off your trading style, that's when you, you're gonna be a very consistent trader because at the same time, if you're that, that person that's actually trying to find a new trading style every fucking week or every fucking month, you're not gonna gain any kind of, any kind of consistency because um, you're not sticking to what you see inside a market. Like if I see a certain amount of confirmation inside a market, I'm taking it. If it goes right or wrong, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like all that matters is that you're, that you're more right than you are wrong. If you're more wrong than you are right, then you just gotta tweak your status a tad bit. And then, you know what I'm saying? Tweak it, tweak it, tweak it up until the market actually is flowing along with that strategy good enough, okay? To be profitable at least. But it's all about gaining the consistency first, but don't rush that, okay? It's gonna take time. It's gonna it's gonna take a lot of fucking hours of charting and just fucking practice, practice, practice. But as long as you're willing to do it, you will be a bomb mass trader. Investing in knowledge. This is a big thing right here because as, as you guys know, um, I'm the founder of Forever and Profit and Wall Street Academy. People are fucking cheap, okay? And I'm just being straight up. Like, people's always under the impression, oh look, it's free on YouTube, it's, it's free on, on, on Bay Pips and this and that, this and that. Okay, but those sites give you the, the the basics. They don't teach you a strategy that's actually working, an actual trading style. They teach you basics. They teach you the foundation, but they don't teach you an actual trading style. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the people that's actually trading, like, um, paying for material, 
their learning curve is so much more shorter than everybody else's they save way much more money and um the more you lose inside a market it's like you're paying tuition you know what i'm saying at the end of the day so the more that the more you knowledge you have on the markets the less you're going to be losing okay so at the same time those, those people that are paying for knowledge they have they have it's like a catalyst to fucking being a trader i feel like now because at the same time like if you can find a person like me personally like i learn like in life i learn from people's mistakes so if i'm if i'm if i'm actually like paying for material okay that person has already experienced a lot of the shit that i might experience that i don't want to experience as far as the losses the fuck ups you know what i'm saying like oh, that kind of shit like why would you want to go through that yourself just to be called oh i'm self taught you know what i'm saying like that's called that's all pride put the fucking pride aside and invest in knowledge it makes trading a lot simpler a lot easier and plus you have a lot of support behind it as well this shit can't be fucking found on youtube it can't be fucking found on the internet and everything for a bomb ass trading style it can't okay invest in the fucking knowledge and, and don't be cheap but at the same time like let's say like my program is is 4.99 all right my students see that in the first couple fucking weeks in the first couple months so that's already paid back that's irrelevant now and now they can make as much money as they fucking want to you know what i'm saying without having to go through that headache and that headache of a fucking learning curve that most people you know that with a lot of pride and everything want to go through for what okay don't be cheap that's for one don't be cheap i've never been cheap and look where i am you know what i'm saying invest 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 it'll come back <laughs> all right and the last thing guys every journey is different okay things that help you get better might not help somebody else everybody has a different way of learning um like i have an online course and in-person course but some people they could take the online course and not really gain much from it but at the same time the in-person course is a lot fucking more knowledgeable mainly because they're in like an in-class in setting so at the same time like that person is more hands-on than a person that actually has the discipline to actually sit down in front of a computer and actually gain all that knowledge and not a lot of people have that kind of discipline and and that's cool you know what i'm saying at the same time some some people have to take notes a lot differently to actually get it some people have to just recite things a lot differently to understand it you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's all different. Every single journey is different. Things that I have gone through might not work for um, somebody else. But at the same time, like every everybody learning curve is going to be different as long as you're willing to actually find out what suits you, what is going to work for you, and let's go off of that. Don't, don't look at the other person and say like, okay, damn, so that's working for him, so that's going to work for me also. No, it's not. You got to find what works for you and then build off of that. Okay, so don't get so stuck on, oh shit, this person is doing that, so like, let me try that also. No, find out, figure out how you learn. It's like, like when you were in school, you learn a certain way. This same, same shit. You have to gain knowledge. You have to figure out how you learn the best, and then go off of that. Okay. Me personally, like the way how I learn, I, I I'm, I'm a person that take notes. Like I take a lot of fucking notes. I have books and books and books, books and notes. I have to go over things over and over and over and over and spend a lot of fucking time on the charts to actually understand something. But once I get it, it clicks. So everybody has that aha moment at a different time at, in every single journey, every single um, start of the journey to trading. Everybody aha moment is going to be different. Just as long as you're willing to actually go through that, that, that journey to actually find out, okay, now it clicks. It might click in a couple weeks for some people, in a couple months for some people, in a couple years for some people. Just as long as you're willing to actually go that route to get there, that's all that matters, okay? That's the biggest thing. So no matter what anyone tells you, go through the journey yourself. You'll find out what works for you, but as long as you're willing to take it, that's all that matters, all right? And everybody have a, a different level of, of emotions, and everybody finance situation is different. So at the same time, like I had a person in my inbox not too long ago and everything saying that he fucking hates trading this and this and he, he regrets it. You're fucking weak. You're a weak-minded person. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just straight up. You're a weak-minded person. You can't be weak-minded in this shit because you're going to quit and then go back to a fucking job then. You know what I'm saying? That, that's the case. But at the same time, trading is not for the weak. It's for the strong-minded people. But at the same time, trading is going to be the biggest lesson or the biggest journey that, that you might ever take in your lifetime. But at the same time, it is definitely worth it. You know, it's, it's easy to make six figures in trading. Once you actually get that consistency, once you actually get that, that strategy down pack and you apply it, apply it, apply it, apply it and not give up. All right. So 
Peace out, y'all. This is Quillen Black, Fair and Profit, Wall Street Academy. Check out the site, wsatraining.com. Check out the program. Um, we have a lot of fucking students all over the world right now. Trading is fucking worth it, all right? Take advantage of it. Gain all the knowledge as you can. Apply it to your life and become the best that you can be and be forever in profit, guys. Peace.